Suzette Terry, that brilliant character comedian, is our next subject. So often on the air and on the stage, she now comes straight to the screen for you. What a life. What I'd give for a good sit down. I wish you could see my bunions. Of course, you know, being a waitress would be all right if I could do it on a bicycle. I ought not to have been a worker at all today, by rights. I got up with that feeling that everything was going wrong, and it did all day. Dropped lemonade down a gent's back, added me bills up wrong, had a row with a manager. Do you know, I gave sheep's heart to a lifelong vegetarian, fried kidneys to a gent who wanted his kidneys deviled. Then I tumbled with a loaded tray and cut my knee on a Welsh rabbit. How's that for a basin full? Do you know, I wish I hadn't had that row with a manager, though. He's a nice man, although his wife doesn't understand him. He didn't half walk up and down with me. He said, our motto is service and civilianity, and don't forget the customer is always right. I said, oh, is he? Is he right if he picks his teeth with a fork? He said, yes, he is. Well, I says, what's his tram ticket for? Of course, I did say you people think that us waitresses make a fortune out of tips, but you're all wrong. I would admit that some customers are liberal, but most of them are conservative. But, you know, we do best out of the young fellas when they come in with their girls. You know, when they're at the swanking stage. This is the girl, see, all kind of mure. I just had a perm. She's going to do with a boyfriend. Yes, the silly cat. And the fellow, bless his heart, he's simply bursting with protective instinct. He leans across the table to me and he says, uh, tea and toast for two, miss. And uh, where can the lady wash her hands? Ah, oh, you know, it's a pretty thought. And then, of course, you know, we do very well out of the middle-aged business, man. I can always spot him. Starch collar, spats, and a touch of blood pressure. Oh, I love the old rascals. I call them the steak and chip brigade, and they're generally good for sixpence. But, you know, sometimes they get a little bit saucy. Now, uh, only today one of them came in, and I knew he was going to sit at one of my tables because he looked at me. When I say looked at me, he gave me one of those looks that sort of goes right through you and makes you wonder if you're all right underneath. Oh, my goodness, I soon told him where to get off. And then do you know he turned out to be quite all right, like yourselves might be. I just said might be. And during the conversation, he started talking to me in a nice, homely way. And he said, I think every man ought to have his hobby. He's got his. He goes round shouting fire outside the nudist camps. Blimey, is the manager. 